It could take you roughly 20 minutes to Nairobi City from Mombasa Road's Mlolongo area if the Nairobi Expressway is completed, but that might as well be a dream as a section of the workers working on the project have down their tools. Bulldozers, cranes and other heavy machines are standing idle at various sites along Mombasa Road where the Nairobi Expressway is expected to be constructed. Over 50 workers protesting against delayed payments by their contractor Delta Construction Limited. These posing a risk to Kenya's dream of having a seamless transport system. Kutoka hii kampuni ianza hii kazi. Tumefanya kufugwishu wa maa county, tumefugua county ya family bank, tumefugua county ya Absa, tumefugua cooperative. Na hakuna mshara yote imuahi kuigia kwa county yetu. Sasa tunapoeda kudai pesa yetu, uyu jamaa mwenye kampuni, ata alituita waizi. Martin Jeremiah is in distraught. Kona mezi kama atatu sijalipua na nakaka riobangi. Asubuhi mimi na rauka saa kumi na wania kazi na baskili. Sasa tukirisha pesa tunaambua si ni waizi, tunaibaga mafuta, mara tairi. Tunauliza kama akietu kama anazatupe. According to Peter Nderitu Gidaka, the Chinese firm that the contractor is working for says he already disbursed funds to Delta Construction, yet for three months now, none of them has received their pay. Na wakati tulizimamisha mshaina alijitokeza. Alijitokeza, akakuja kusema kazi yake inaharibika. Dio akatushauri, tukai hapa, tusifunge kazi yake, dio nae ashirikiani na sisi, tupewe pesa zetu. Manaki hata kazi yake inasimama na anamuripa. Mwanzo walituwabia anamuripa kwa date 23, date 22. Kama saa hii hawana deni na yeye. However, according to Delta Construction Manager Sam Buru, the workers have been stealing fuel from the trucks. This prompted Delta to install security cameras in the truck that has now unveiled an oil theft syndicate. The drivers have been stealing our fuel, 60% of fuel, every day. So what we did, we put some fuel sensors on the vehicles, mm -hmm. which we didn't tell them. Mm -hmm. And we have done our analysis, and uh, they have stolen a lot of fuel. So we told them we cannot, we are deducting this money, mm -hmm. because we are stealing a lot of fuel every day, and uh, most of them uh, say, no, no, we cannot deduct, this is not true. But we told them we have data, and these are computer generated. Mm -hmm. And uh, we can say that to you. So, what happened to, with the with the mechanic? We had an issue with the tires. Okay. When we buy a tires, when we come to replace, those are not our tires. Mada ya tire system yake ya kazi diyo imeferi tuwashe kudaganyana. Tuwashe kudaganyana. Migu imeja hapa, igine imeja astro. Kazi yenye inafanyika, kenye inafanyika. Among the documents presented, some workers agreed to have siphon the fuel and sold it, but was willing to get into an agreement with the contractor on how to reclaim his money without having to fire them. Kwa nini huja ripoti huu hizi wa mafuta ama hizi wa wote? Na zizi tukamuuliza pia, kwa nini imekua nisaitu na kudai mchahala, diyo umelete hii kesi? ya kumaanisha kwa ba hutaripa ati kwa sababu kuna wizi. Kwa nini huku ripoti mwanzo? If the contractor and their employees fail to come to a consensus, it will slow down the completion of the long-awaited 62 billion shillings dual carriageway from Mulilongo to Wayaki and terminating at the James Gishuru Junction. Linda Koskei, K24 Business.